Hi Scorpio, welcome to this reading. This is your reading for the next seven days and I'm going to pull out cards to check what energies are coming towards you in the next seven days as well as view oracle message to see what we receive as guidance from the spirit guides. And these are general readings may or may not resonate for all of you. So whatever, sorry, whatever resonates, please take them and you can leave the rest behind. So let's see what's coming on your way. Okay, so lots of thoughts process is on your way, Scorpio. So you have more air signs in your reading. Okay, first let me say what's there. Uh, on your uh, in your current position, you have is the Page of Swords, Three of Swords, and Six of Cups. Some feelings, but more of thoughts. And in your obstacle, uh, what you're overcoming in your obstacle position, you have what's crossing you is the five of swords. What you are releasing is seven of swords. Embracing is six of swords. And I will, what you need to know, I will read that later on. So that's for you at the end. For in the end, I'll read. So in your current position, page of swords, three of swords, and six of uh, cups. Uh, in some areas, you are you are uh, daydreaming. Uh, you are planning out things. You are learning, and uh, you are seeing how uh, making your best logic and uh, and also like analyzing on certain areas and seeing uh, how the situation is mostly. Um, some kind of pain or um, hurt feelings is there where you are trying to come out or you are in the healing process or you are seeing what is the best way to come out from those hurt, hurt feelings. So it is like mainly basically your thoughts that's, uh, that is creating you but you cannot ignore that. You need to take care of your feelings as well. And Six of Cups... Um, you are uh, like also um, seeing like thinking of past happenings and uh, making your feelings go in the past and thinking of uh, situations events that have created you or brought um, or brought uh, happiness uh, towards you and um, how like how you can uh, again reconnect or some kind of reunion is on your way and that can help in the process of um, where you uh, where your hurt um, areas uh, uh, can, uh, can bring some healing into your hurt area so uh, you are like um, you uh, your thought process is acting more it is like more of it is dominating in your reading where your um, you your communications your mental uh, areas and your um, especially your thoughts uh, that is what is um, seen into this uh, reading uh, what you can overcome like uh, obstacle to overcome is the five of swords that is what is crossing you uh, which is like uh, at one point you you uh, you think that uh, every readings will not help you grow so you are just looking behind and seeing what are the uh, where are the areas where conflicts have arised and uh, how how you have uh, dealt with that and uh, that is that is where the main um, uh, challenges for you to to not uh, again uh, be into that cycle of what has already happened or you just want to see how how you can control your thought process so that you do not again take part into that area how it has happened uh, so you are uh, being very mindful of uh, what is happening and uh, you just want to see like not to uh, again linger into that um, linger into that uh, same old pattern and uh, to win at all cost so you are paying attention to that and what you are uh, releasing is the seven of swords like uh, it is like a deceptive uh, kind of energies where lies cheating confrontations is there so you are releasing like 
those energies deceptive air, uh, energies it could be like your own energies so uh, be truthful to yourself you are trying to be truthful with yourself so that you do not hurt yourself and which will lead um, uh, hurt uh, to others as well so you are uh, mindful of your own situations that uh, that is that uh, doesn't uh, go back again into that old pattern where you uh, where hurts hurt is um, has taken place and for in your current energy you already have three of swords where you are just taking a uh, making an effort of healing that situations healing the um, painful uh, areas the uh, the thoughts that is bothering you more the hurt that you have received more so you are trying to heal from that situations uh, this is what it is uh, you are releasing mostly so you have thumb uh, air signs more and um what you are embracing is the six of swords uh, which is like um you are just moving forward and you know like uh, intuitively you know that you have uh, that you will receive support so you are just moving forward you are embracing whatever uh, may come and you are just embracing that so moving forward uh, not looking back but climbing stairs up climbing up you are making an effort to move one step forward from the situations in order to um, to heal yourself from the situations that you are already in and unless you do that you will not be able to move one step up to level up with your energy so that you can continue uh, working on things that uh, you want to do it and what you need to know now i can uh, See, what you need to know is eight of cups um, it is mostly about feelings so you are releasing the feelings and you are not paying attention or not giving too much of heat to feelings that are hurting you so this is in one way this is okay but um, you also need to realize that it doesn't go and get uh, deep within you so that it's so that if it is not recognized then again that hurt will uh, come back uh, so you are just um, going just making your move uh, from there in and you are seeing uh, you are trying like whatever the toxic energies you are just releasing that and you are just moving ahead and eight of swords uh, you are trying to come out from any kind of uh, trap thoughts so that you can have a broader mind and you can see what is a better perspective what is the better things you have so you are on for some of you it is a kind of a confusion there to you have for some of you it is like you are trapped in your thoughts you are trying to come out from those tra trap thoughts and you want to just have the clarity uh, like what it is happening so since your eye is blindfolded sometimes uh, you are not mm, alert what is uh, uh, happening even though recognizing that this is uh, what is happening within yourself but you you are not <coughs> excuse me you are not able to uh, you are ignoring like uh, <coughs> excuse me it is like you are ignoring those areas those thoughts uh, knight of coins you are paying attention to um, some areas giving uh, giving uh, focusing on certain things that you need to do it so you are mastering those those areas and um, you are just focusing and you are setting plans to see how best you can move forward so in your reading it is mostly like your thoughts are dominating more than your feelings and in some areas you are not being so practical only in one situation this is like a uh, knight of pentacles where you are trying to make yourself um best way how to be practical in order to uh, both control your thoughts as well as your mm, emotions especially your thoughts your emotions is there but due to this three of souls which is like a heartbreaking situations like um the trust level of your own feelings like uh, a fear of uh, trusting your own feelings this is where it it's been stuck over there uh, yeah, so that's all I have uh, for you in this reading. Now I'm going to pull out three um, cards for you from the Monology Oracle deck to see what message we receive from the spirit guides. And whichever. Huh. That's amazing. I'll come back. Okay. Well, you need to work through your fears. Um there is something of a fear of 
like uh, especially where your feelings you just want to give it so you have some fears within you where you need to work out so work out on the fears that will open a brand new um when you open your heart then you try to receive uh, more things and things happens in a very um in a very uh, positive way uh, not only positive it is like in a very realistic way where where it should be happening okay so don't let pride get into your way so take care of your egoistic mind again your thoughts and uh, since you have uh, more of the air signs in your reading so take care of your thoughts and work on the fears so just um, face your fears uh, tame your fears and do some uh, meditation or do some uh, gratitude um, uh, gratitude practice like um, every day just what are the uh, what are the best thing that has happened with you uh, today so you can just um, work on those gratitude um, affirmations every day and that will help you to come out from those um, unwanted or uncertain fears that uh, that is being brought by your logic mind and believe in the impossible so anything can happen so believe in yourself believe in the impossible and um, trust in uh, trust in the process that is and uh, that you are uh, presently going through uh, so that's all i have for you scorpio i hope this helped and uh, thank you for tuning tuning in and watching and see you in my next video bye